Hello and welcome to my.homecampus.com.sg. Let's solve this problem on division. It says a fruiterer had 77 apples. He packed them equally into three baskets. How many apples were there in each basket and how many apples were left? Okay, so let's make a model diagram for that first. Let's say that this big unit over here represents all the apples that the fruiterer had and they were 77 in number. And he packed them equally into three baskets. And then there were some apples that were left. Now what can you tell about the number of apples that were left? Well, what we can say about them is that they were too few in number to be divided into three baskets. So the number of apples left will be either zero, which means there were no apples left at all, or one or two because one and two are just too few to be divided among uh, three baskets all right so the number of apples left will obviously be less than three now let's find out how many apples were there in each basket and how many apples if at all were left so we basically have to do 77 divided by three let's uh, get to that division all right so now as usual in the middle of the screen we'll see how the division actually happens uh, using visuals and on the right side of the screen we'll do a working as usual okay so our number is 77 that means we have seven tens and we have seven ones and we've got three baskets that we have to divide the apples into all right now the first step of division is to divide the tens by three now we have seven tens and we have three baskets Let's put one tens in each basket. So after putting one tens in each basket, we still have some tens left. Let's put uh, one more tens in each basket. And uh, what we have left now, well now we have only one tens left, which obviously we cannot uh, divide among three baskets. So what we get is after dividing the tens by three, we found out that there are two tens that we can put in each basket and there is a remainder of one. So 7 tens divided by 3 is equal to 2 tens with a remainder of 1 ten. Now let's uh, look at the working here. 3 times 2 gives us 6. 7 minus 6 is equal to 1. So this 2 over here tells us that each basket has 2 tens and this 1 over here tells us that there's a remainder of 1. So each basket has two tens and the one ten that is left what do we do with that the remainder well what we do is we take that we break that up into ten ones and we'll use those ten ones in the next step okay so we take the remainder we break that up into ten tens and we regroup them with the ones so now all together what we have is we have 17 ones and now we go to the next step of division which is divide the ones by three so we have 17 ones which we are going to divide by three okay let's bring our focus back to the middle of the screen now and start dividing the 17 ones among the three baskets so we put one apple each in the three baskets we have still some more left we put one more in each basket we still have several more left so we put another three one in each basket then some more and then some more and then what we see is there are just two apples left obviously we cannot divide two apples equally among three baskets so what do we see from here well we see from here that when we divided 17 apples equally among three baskets each basket received five apples and in the end there were two apples left that couldn't be divided so there was a remainder of two apples all right so 17 ones divided by three is equal to five ones with a remainder of two which is what we put here 17 divided by three gives you five three times five is equal to 15 think of the multiplication table of uh, three so three times five is 15 17 minus 15 is equal to two so our final quotient is 25 and our final remainder is 2. So 25 means each basket had 2 tens, 5 ones or 25 apples. And in the end from 77, there were 2 apples that were left that couldn't be divided anymore among the baskets. All right, let's look at the steps uh, one more time. Let's summarize them. We have 77 apples that we will divide by 
3. 3 times 2 gives us 6 and there is a remainder of 1. Now we bring down the 7 ones and put that together with the remainder from the previous step. So all together there are 17 ones or 17. Now think of the multiplication table of 3. 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 2 is 6 and so on. As soon as we get to a point, a number which is equal to or greater than 17, we stop. Okay, so 3 times 6 is 18. We stop here since 18 is more than 17. We go back to the previous step, the previous row, which is 3 times 5 is equal to 15. So 17 divided by 3 gives us 5. But 3 times 5 is 15, so we put 15 down here. When we do 17 minus 15, we get 2. And that's the end of the division. Now the two numbers that we have got, 25 and 2, well, 25 means that there were 25 apples in each basket and the 2 here means that 2 apples were left. Alright, that's the end of this lesson. For more such questions, practice exercises and worksheets, log on to my.homecampus.com.sg. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.